pro-China lawmaker in Hong Kong has been injured in a knife attack while campaigning for local elections later this month. Junius Ho is the third lawmaker in recent weeks to have been attacked. Well, Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam has slammed the incident, saying that she strongly condemns the use of violence. Now, do note that the pictures we're about to show contain graphic images which may be distressing to some viewers. The attack was caught on video. It shows the attacker, seen in blue, pretending to want to take a photo with Mr. Ho before lunging at him with a knife. Four others were injured, including the attacker, who was subdued and arrested. With less than three weeks to go to district elections in Hong Kong, some lawmakers are calling for greater security for candidates. Our senior correspondent, Roland Lim, has more. And the attacker a man asked if he could take a picture uh, with Mr. Ho and then gave him a bunch of flowers before grabbing a knife uh, from his bag and then stabbing Ho. Uh, the man was quickly subdued by Ho himself and a few others nearby. Uh, the man kept shouting abuse at Ho, calling him human scum, uh, accusing him really of orchestrating the attack at the Yunlong MTR station, subway station on July 21st when dozens of people of commuters subways in the subways uh, were beaten up by a group of men uh, in white t shirts now some of whom we now know to be tried members. Uh, paramedics of course arrived at the scene, quickly treated Ho before taking him to Tun Moon Hospital. Police arrested the suspect. Um, as Ho was being taken away, he said that it was only a superficial wound and it was only 2 cm uh, long near his rib cage. And then later on uh, on Weibo, uh, he posted while in hospital that the attack was the darkest period of the ongoing district council election campaign. Now in a statement, government spokesperson has already strongly condemned the attack and appeal to the public to be peaceful and rational and respect different opinions. Um, Hong Kong's biggest political party, the pro-Beijing uh, DAV party, also warning uh, that the incident could trigger copycat behavior and question how the government is going to ensure the safety of the candidates as well as the fairness of the elections themselves. Remember, more than 100 district officers of the DAV party have been vandalized and many of its candidates harassed in recent months. The stabbing came as Mrs. Lam wrapped up talks in China with top Communist Party officials. A day after meeting with President Xi Jinping, Mrs. Lam held talks today with Vice Premier Han Zheng, who said Mrs. Lam must restore order in Hong Kong. Zibotzi,恢复秩序,仍然是香港社会当前最重要的工作。也是香港的行政、立法、司法机关的共同责任。我也感到非常的痛心